first day of the 2023-24 trout fishing season in Tasmania saw me head out onto Penstock Lagoon. One of the many things that trout fishers have in common is they like traditions, whether it's to be a favourite fly, a favourite technique on particular days or a favourite venue on the opening day. In recent years, while Penstock has proved to be an extremely fickle fishery, its reliability on opening day has been high. It's as if the wily residents of the lake have forgotten all the fears that built up during the previous season and are blind to the dangers of chasing the strange looking water creatures that all of a sudden return to their environment. That's not to say the fish are easy on the opening day, as Tasmanian trout are never easy, but persistence and good technique is more likely to be rewarded than on similar days later in the season. And away we go. First cast of the new season. Penstock Lagoon. The water's looking a little bit on the turbid side. Fishing a few, a couple of fairly bright flies. See what happens. So fishing a immediate. zero likelihood of insect hatches the fish will be feeding near the bottom and that's where you need to be to put your fly or your flies. Often, missing a fish means you're in for another long wait. But not always. In this case, it didn't take very long at all for another fish to turn up.
opening day this year also reminded me that wet fly fishing is not a casual vocation. While some see it as boring and repetitive, that's a dangerous way to tackle it, as that attitude affects your concentration and attention to detail. Uh, I believe in this clip I've already lost what was likely to be the biggest fish of the season by virtue of my own poor attention to detail. The decision to cast upwind from the boat saw me hook up with a monster that took off frantically circling the boat before tearing off in a run that ceased abruptly when the fly line became tangled in my boots. Rookie error, but perhaps one more likely to occur on the first day of the season while you're still getting your head back into practice. At this time of the year, lock style wet fly fishing is the go. Some fishers will tie on three flies, but I prefer fishing with two, working on the expectation that it's the point fly that's the most likely to attract the take, but that a suitable dropper about 1.5 metres above the point fly will just heighten the likelihood of getting a trout interested. On this day, the point fly remain unchanged, a predominantly black magoo with a pink bead head and a bit of pink in the body and pink flash in the tail. The dropper was at times sparkly, at times olive, at times brown, and it was finally an olive version that seemed to match the best with the point fly, producing the most activity. Experimentation is generally the story of wet fly fishing. Rarely do you know what you're actually trying to imitate, and so experimentation is the order of the day. If you've got multiple fishes on board, then at least until you are confident of a combination, you fish different combinations to maximise the likelihood of getting it right. Of course, just because a fly works with one fish does not guarantee that it'll work with the next, but it certainly helps with your own confidence. And I strongly believe in fishing with flies that you're confident in. If you're around. <laughs> <laughs> Just another of too many misses on the day.
And another miss. one wasn't quite a miss, but it was a very early release. Stay away for long. Trust me, that one didn't get away. And so at the start of the 23-24 season, Penstock has reassured me that the opening day is a tradition that I'll hang on to, even if the success of that day does not stand as a model of what to expect for the rest of the season. No doubt I'll find myself chatting with other fishers about the frustration of pain stock later in the season, but for now it's given me a great first day. Don't forget to get in touch with me and book your fly fishing experience up in the Central Highlands. I can provide everything that you need and hopefully get you onto something like some of the fish that I've shared with you today. Tight lines.